I mean, the nice thing about PSMA PET is it shows you where you have PSMA expressing prostate cancer, you know, that's in, a, in the metastatic setting. Uh, so there are a number of, you know, radioimmunotherapy or uh, theragnostics that are being used. Certainly uh, PSMA, you know, lutetium is FDA approved in the United States and is widely used. We at uh, while Cornell have a whole research program, we're using monoclonal antibodies to PSMA, uh, using actinium, you know, alpha emitters instead of beta emitters, and we've seen some really good um, results even combining the two, and there's been some abstract presentations at this meeting about that. So th I think there's a lot of advancement in targeting PSMA uh, for prostate cancer, and one of the, the ways PSMA PET-CT is often used is to identify those patients that might be good candidates. So for instance, for all our trials, to be eligible, you have to have PSMA PET-CT positivity. In fact, for the label indication for uh, lutetium PSMA is you have to have a PSMA PET scan that's positive to be able to get the drug. So I think there's a lot of studies now targeting PSMA. There'll be more that's being studied in earlier disease, even in hormone sensitive disease. So more to come on the, you know, if this actually improves outcomes.